Hello, everyone. I wanted to uh, briefly cover something really quickly here. Um, a lot of people are trying to start out learning um, some PLC programming. That's something that I've done for years, part of my uh, career. Um, but, uh, you know, it's fairly expensive to get into if you're just by yourself. Um, and one of the one of the ways to do that is to get a simple PLC and some hopefully free software. Um, of course, Rockwell PLCs are a big, uh, uh, big part of the industry. A lot of people are using those. Um, and of course, the Studio 5000 software can be fairly expensive. Um, there is a, you can't, if you do have a cheap MicroLogix PLC, and, and I'll admit this software is different. It's, um, this PLC is not the same as a Control Logix or Compact Logix type. But, uh, you know, if you're just getting started and you're wanting to learn some of the basics of ladder programming, it's not a bad way to go. Uh, years ago, I think I, I bought an old MicroLogix 1000 PLC for about 50 bucks on eBay. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they're going for now. You might still be able to find one fairly cheap. Problem is, um, a lot of people are using RS Logix 500 to program those, which is a great piece of software. It works for the Slick 500 series. Uh, which is another older processor, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to pay a lot of money for RS Logix 500 when you're just playing around. You got a little MicroLogix 1000, and uh, so there is a software called RS Logix Micro Starter Lite, which is actually free. Um, the issue is it's very difficult to try to find it. I tried to just do some searches um, on Rockwell Automation's website and. Um, you know, frankly, over the years, I've never found Rockwell's um, website to be all that intuitive. Um, things keep moving around, you know, looking for support pages. Um, never quite understood a lot of that. But anyhow, um, I did find this help uh, article here, which I did have to log into. You do need to have like a My Rockwell Automation account <clears throat> set up, which probably for the very basic part of it, it should be easy to do. Um, but... Um, this has instructions here. It's uh, the ID number just for uh, purposes here. It's IN9504 and the access level for this information is everyone. So say as long as you have a, a login set up with Rockwell, you should be able to see this info and get this. But it's uh, it's got instructions for the download. And I will say this is not easy. Uh, um, I think I think Rockwell is basically trying to hide this so that the average person uh, can't find this very easily, but this is free software that you can use. Now, the thing is, it's only good for a MicroLogix 1000 or 1100 controller. And um, so, yeah, a lot of people are asking, where can I find it? You know, um, if you have a MicroLogix 1200, 1400, so on, you are going to need to have RS Logix 500, unfortunately. But if you have one of these cheaper ones, uh, you can do it. Now, what they say here, uh, it's a free download. You need to go to the Product Compatibility and Download Center, which they do give you a link. Um, but it gets to be a little tricky here because we and we'll do this together and uh, hopefully I can get through it. Um, but you need to go there and at the top of the screen, search for MicroLogix 1100. And then you have to select Firmware 10, which seems very not intuitive at all. You think you would search for the newest firmware or... Why am I even looking for firmware at all? I want programming software. I'm not looking for a firmware download. I know that makes no sense. But uh, then from the selection, you choose Files option, you request an unlock for the retired product, um, and then you have to request that. I guess they consider it retired. Uh, it's not being developed anymore, uh, and the highest available version of it is 8.3. Which, you know, if you got an old, uh, you know, if there's a need for any higher revision, uh, then you got to go towards RS Logics Micro, uh, which I guess there's a version 11, apparently, of that. Uh, there is a micro software, but, and I'm not sure exactly what that cost. Uh, you would need to check with a Rockwell distributor. But um, I kind of wish they had stuck and kept the light version, but. You know, frankly, the um, well, the 1000 and 1100 are fairly old, fairly old processors. But once we get in here and we select that firmware version, we got to come down and click this Micro Starter Lite, uh, and then apparently without RS links, 
and I believe there is a free version of that too that we can get. And then you can additionally select the RS Logix Emulate 500, which actually is really nice uh, because that should allow you to do some emulation actually without the need to have the MicroLogix 1000 or 1100. So it kind of gives you an environment to maybe do some, some testing of code. So uh, pretty cool um, to be able to do that. At least it gets you in the world of Rockwell. Uh, maybe not uh, maybe not these nice Studio 5000 and the higher level processors, but at least kind of get you in. Um, so we're going to go ahead and work through this. I'm going to get this software up. We'll try to go through and see if we can download it together. All right, so here we are. I'm going to type in MicroLogix 1100 for the search. And we click that. The 1763LXXX. And then they're saying we need to go down here and select firmware version 10. All right, I did that. So now what? Let's go back to the instructions again and look at it together. Top of the screen, we did that. We selected our firmware. From selection, choose select files option. Okay, select files option. This one? Select files option. Okay, we're going to keep struggling here. Like I said, their instructions are pretty weak. All right, we're going to select the version again. And it says the select files option, which frankly, I don't see that. Downloads. There's a select files option here. And then you got to request an unlock. And I just said, my system is old. All right. Now, what does that do? To me, that seems like that would be firmware. Okay. There we go. That was not in, that was not really clear at all. Uh, this is part of what I say. Their website is wonky. All right. So I want to select the emulate because I would like to get that. Um, what else can I get out of here? Starter light without RS links. I want the English. I'm not sure what ZHE is, but I'm pretty sure the EN. I think that's referring to the English language version. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you, but 8.3. So RS Logics Micro Starter Light without RS links. Either that or it means enterprise. I'm not sure. Um, we don't really need firmware. Um, we could get RS Classic Lite, which I believe that's free too. I'm going to go ahead and click it so we have all of those because I think you do want to have that. Um, usually you do need to have RS links to be able to connect things, sometimes to be able to connect the emulator. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. And now I think we got to click on this. We have three downloads selected. And we can say download now. Now this is a thing. They have their own little downloader thing that it puts it in some weird place. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. It's going to download this little executable thing, which I usually ignore. I just prefer to go right to a direct download and just directly download these things myself which they'll go into my downloads folder. You can see there's the emulate. There goes the micro light. And there goes RS links light. So we'll move on from there and um, try to get some of these things installed, play around with them a little bit and see what we can do.